Okay, YouTube. So this is part seven of the Pioneer CTF 900. Okay. So I had to basically undo everything I did as far as increasing the diameter of the idler tire. Okay. So I had to take the idler tire back out, take all the two-way sticky tape that I put around that pulley, remove all that, put the original idler tire back on because the diameter of the idler tire wasn't the problem. The problem was the little tiny spring, okay, that pushes the idler tire up against the real motor, okay? Now, I'm not going to go pushing down on that. The more you do that, the more you damage that spring. So, don't do that, okay? So, I took a spring out of a Marantz cassette deck, okay, because the original spring was so weak, okay, that it could barely lift the idler tire. Here's the original spring right here. This little tiny spring. It just didn't have no balls left. Okay. So I got a, a fatter, bigger spring from a Marantz. And I cut it down to size. So now this idler tire has all kinds of upward force. Okay. So you can see it spinning haul an ass okay and it's working like a champion okay flawless so it wasn't the idler tire at all <clears throat> It was the spring that was the problem. <clears throat> so it's working perfectly. with the original idler tire. So now we'll put a tape in it and get a strike from YouTube. Okay. Fast forward, rewind, fast forward, play. I guarantee you that's going to get me some fucking strikes. So. For all those with a Pioneer CTF 900, 950, 1000, 1200, whatever, you can stop increasing the diameter of your idler tires, okay? Because that's not your problem. Your problem is the spring that pushes up the idler tire, all right? So that's part seven of the CTF 900. I still got parts on the way, and now I don't even need them. Blew 20 bucks this morning on an idler tire that I don't need. But that's life, okay? So this is good to go. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, party on. Later.